Good morning, friends, and welcome to the video. It is Saturday, December 5th, and we are gonna do a little vloggy vlog moment. I haven't been vlogging as much as I want to. I've just been so busy, and I just haven't picked up my camera, so I'm gonna take you along on my day, and we are gonna go run some errands. I need to go get my nails done. As you can see, if you follow my Instagram, I've been talking about it for a hot minute. I don't know what was like going on. I was putting away my dishes and I shut my cupboard door and I think my nail like got stuck in it and it just ripped off and it makes me cringe just even thinking about it. So we're gonna go get that fixed. The rest of them are my natural nails. They've never in my life been this long and I swear to God it's because of my Belmar collagen. But don't mind my little nub because that was my fault. Anyways, it is the day after candle sale, Bath and Body Works candle sale. And if you follow my Instagram, you know I bought my 18 limit and I have zero regrets. I will show you in a little bit, but I I go ham on candle day. I have zero regrets. When Nick deployed last year, we had like a little bit of a stash built up, but we couldn't put it in the storage unit, so we had to like burn up all of our all, blah, 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 burn up all of our candles and just kind of get rid of it because we couldn't we couldn't put that stuff in the storage unit so that sucked it's my perfect opportunity to stock up on some more and as you can see in the background look at all of those candles we got home and nick immediately whipped them out and put them in like a perfect stash here i'll show you guys these are all the ones we snagged this is one we had, that's why it's already all half burnt. Oh my God, so good. This is probably like one of my top um, Christmas scents and fresh balsam. I really, really, really love this one. And I just discovered fresh cut lilacs and I don't know about anyone else, but it just reminds me of summer and it just smells so good and just like soothing vibes and I, I'm seriously just so obsessed with it. Zay, I would like to say hello. I was gonna put some makeup on. Honestly, my skin is really being mean to me. I think it's because of Thanksgiving and all the disgusting, unhealthy foods that I ate. It wasn't disgusting, it was amazing. It was just very not healthy. And my skin is like, what the heck, Amy? What did you do? So that's a bummer, but I'm just gonna let it breathe. I feel like putting makeup on might irritate it some more and I'm just, I'm just lazy, so. That is what we're rocking with. I am gonna go make my shirt for my greens, hop on my Instagram and get in my DMs because I have so many. I posted a TikTok and it got like two million views and I have so many DMs to get back to and it takes me a minute because it's like there's like big long paragraphs and I wanna respond as best as I can and thoroughly and intentionally respond so it does take me a minute. So I'm gonna go make my shirt for my greens and go answer some DMs and then Chelsea and I are going to get these bad boys done. I'm also going to get a pedicure. I was at the mall yesterday because I was going to go last night, but candle, the, literally the line was so long. And by the time I got out of it, I was like, I can't, I can't do anything. So <laughs> I was wearing sandals because I was going to go get my pedicure after we did candle day, but I didn't end up doing that. So I have to go do that today. And I was in line and I was like, I don't think I'm going to get a pedicure. Like who cares about my toes? I don't wear sandals in winter, like whatever. Like this is the only time because I was going to go get a pedicure, you know? And Nick's like, Amy, you need to go get a pedicure. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, you know it's bad when your husband encourages you to go get a pedicure. So I am going to go get a pedicure and go fix my nails. I haven't decided on what nail color I want to get yet red pink i don't know i'm scared to get shut down like the nail salons to get shut down because san diego is being whack again and not have like a versatile nail color on like i don't want reindeer red or rudolph red whatever it's called on my nails like for a long time i'm so nervous i hate the shutdown but whatever we're gonna go do that and then we're gonna go to trader joe's we have to snag some things trader joe's is very tempting during the holidays there's a bunch of like Christmas desserts and like JoJo's and peppermint flavored desserts and we will have self-control <laughs> maybe okay, we Stay definitely here. did a little bit of damage at Trader Joe's and I also went to Target I am so excited I am actually home alone for the next week Nick is going to the field so I just picked up not a lot just some things to get me through the week but I will show you what I got 
first I went to Target and I got these. Chelsea said these burgers are amazing. They're the Bubba burgers. I've never had them in my life, but always down to try something new. Macros, 420 calories for one burger, 25 grams of protein, but zero carbs and zero sugar. So that's pretty good. She said you don't have to season them or do anything. You just cook them and they're amazing. So I would give that a shot. We got some croissants. We're going to have Sammy's tonight for dinny. Some tomatoes, butter, tortilla, sausage, just basic groceries. Oh, you guys. If you haven't tried the Bolt House um, Classic Yogurt Ranch, this is my absolute favorite. This is what I used to use. It is way too many calories for my macros. It's 130 calories for two tablespoons versus 45 calories for two tablespoons. So definitely a healthier alternative, more macro friendly, highly recommend. And I can't even really tell the difference. I love, love this ranch. Okay, moving on. Literally didn't get anything else exciting at Target. Just veggies and tortillas and some sausage. Anyway, I got a lot of veggies. If you've been following along on my Instagram, you know my veggie game needs to be upped, like, a lot. I had my nutritionist appointment, and I was talking about it in my last vlog, but, um... I talked to my nutritionist and she basically yelled at me for not eating enough vegetables. So <laughs> I need to include more veggies and sneak them into my diet. So I picked up some broccoli, some arugula for arugula, is that how you say it? I don't know, for salad. <laughs> some rice cauliflower. I've never had this before, but like I said, I'm trying all new things. Some mashed cauliflower. I've also never had it before, but We'll try it out. Mandarin orange chicken. Yum, yum, yum. Tuna salad. This just looked amazing. Like, you can't tell me if that doesn't look divine. With albacore, tuna, celery, and green onions. I got some crackers as well. She just that in. I'm going to eat this literally as soon as I'm done showing you guys what I got. A Cobb salad. Sounds amazing. I want to eat more salads just because I really like them, but I don't know. I want to include... I feel like salads are an easy way to sneak in veggies like carrots and get some greens and you can throw literally whatever you want into a salad, which I got chickpeas or garbanzo beans or whatever. I'm going to try to have those too because apparently those are good and healthy. So we are trying a bunch of new things. I got some brown rice. Super yum. I'm gonna have that with my orange chicken, I think. I got some stuffed peppers, seasoned ground turkey, brown rice, and mozzarella and Parmesan cheese in tomato sauce. Amazing, that looks delicious. You guys, it took everything in me to not get like six of these, but this is my weakness, the reduced guilt mac and cheese from Trader Joe's. It slaps, and if you haven't tried it, do yourself a favor and try it. I got some eucalyptus. I'm gonna hang this in my shower. You know the vibes. My blender bottle from earlier. Some pita crackers. Never had these before, so I'm super excited to try them. Some sun-dried tomatoes. I'm gonna make, um, I found a recipe on some Instagram. I don't remember where I found it, but it's the cauliflower gnocchi, alfredo sauce, sun-dried tomatoes, and spinach. And it's supposed to be super good. So I'm going to give that a shot. Stay tuned for that. I'll probably do a taste test over on my Instagram. Got some butter lettuce. Spinach for my recipe. Garbanzo beans. Never had these in my life. I'm a little nervy. Alfredo sauce. Miso vegetables and brown rice saute kit. I'm intrigued. I'm gonna try this. Nick does not get into like this type of food. Like he's just, he can eat whatever he wants and he does not gain a pound. He will lose weight. He's one of those. I unfortunately <laughs> am not the same. So I'm excited to try this while well, he is not here for the week. And yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna try all the things. Okay, and then I got some celery. I am going to put peanut butter and chocolate chips in these for a little there's a name for it and I can't think of it also I'm going to use this for dip in my um tuna salad then I got some vegetable fried rice you know sneaking some more veggies in you know hey quit eating my eucalyptus she's sitting here eating my eucalyptus look at her face yeah quit eating my eucalyptus 
She does not give a shit. There. Hey. No. What a douchebag. Anyways. And then I got cauliflower gnocchi. And chicken sausage. Yum, yum, yum. It's not going to focus on my chicken sausage. There we go. And that is all that I got at Trader Joe's. As you can see, my kitchen counter is a disaster. My cats are like, what the heck is going on? But yeah, I'm super excited to try out some new things. I feel like I've been eating like a lot of the same foods. I eat a lot of Greek yogurt. I eat a lot of cottage cheese and chicken breast. <laughs> and that's literally like my diet and I need to be more inclusive and try some new things. So I'm excited to try all of this. I love Trader Joe's, I love the vibe. I love exploring more groceries and more ways to make my food and I just wanna be be better in the kitchen and more inclusive of like my diet, including more veggies and all of that fun stuff cause they're good for you, you should eat your veggies. And as most of you know, I do take a green supplement but you know, whole foods are amazing and we got a lot of them. Don't mind my dishes. I haven't done them yet. Anyways, I'm going to put this away. I'm going to have my Cobb salad. Seriously, you guys, does this not look like the best thing ever? That just looks amazing. I'll probably have like three-fourths of it. I don't know. I'm starving. This looks divine. Okay, I'm going to put this away, and I will catch up with you guys later. I think Nick and I are building our gingerbread house tonight, so I'm super excited about that. And other than that, I think I'm just gonna hang out and respond to some DMs. I have like so many to get back to and do some laundry, do some dishes, clean the house. My life really isn't that fun. I'm taking another rest day from the gym just cause we went hard AF last week. So hard, I literally was so sore <laughs> and I just need to chillax. So we are gonna have another rest day and hang out and yeah, I will catch up with you guys later I think. Like I said, we're gonna build the gingerbread house. So I'm super excited Friends, about that. I am picking up the camera. A different day, a different week, month maybe. I don't remember where I left that video off at. Um, Nick and I did end up making a gingerbread house and it was an absolute fail, 100% fail. Like I got a hole in my frosting bag and then it just leaked all over and we couldn't finish it and it was just a shit show to say the least so i just kind of gave up on the vlog at that point and then i just kind of got myself into a little rut but we are back and better than ever i do plan on filming some more vlogs for you guys i know you enjoy my little trader joe's hauls also i really want to do some more sit down videos and chit chat videos and maybe some lululemon hauls i just showed this jacket on my instagram sorry i'm in my kitchen you're getting a view of my oven i just showed this jacket on my instagram it is the always effortless lulu lemon jacket i'm wearing a size six it is seriously the cutest thing i've ever put on oh wow casper the ghost wow oh girl anyways let me set you down so you can see what it looks like this is it like i said i'm wearing a size six it cinches at the waist right here which i like you can add some more definition it's got these two flappy things i'm not entirely sure the purpose of them they're just two flappy things. Whatever you gotta do, I don't know. It adds to the jacket though, I think they're cute. Um, but yeah, that is what is going on. My skin is being so mean to me. I don't know what is going on with it. I need to switch up my routine. Also, if you missed my chat on my Instagram, I have decided to get my extensions taken out. Yes, I did just get them and now I'm taking them out. It is becoming very difficult for me to hide them with my thin hair. I do have very fine thin hair and it is just super hard for me at the moment to hide them. So I'm going to take a little break for them, with them, pour them. You can see it just peeks out and I like walk around stressed out all the time because I'm worried about my extensions peeking through and like people seeing them peeking through and like I just don't think that's a good look so we are going to get them taken out take a little break um religiously take our collagen take our protein do all the things and maybe try again later I know I've talked about um my my halo and how much I hated that honestly it's 
it's great the halo is wonderful i'm just being so extra and i just wanted to have long hair at all times and unfortunately with my thin hair being the way that it is that was just not not in the books for me so we are going to take a break we will try again maybe some other time when my hair is a little more grown in i lost a lot of hair post-op it is what it is and yeah so i am just making Nick some orange chicken he is getting home early it is what's today i don't even know the 22nd yeah it's the 22nd lost track of time we're gonna make Nick some orange chicken he is coming home for lunch and then we're just gonna relax but i just wanted to end this vlog because i just kind of showed you guys my trader joe's haul and left you hanging because i just forgot to pick up my camera <laughs> but that is a goal of mine in 2021 is to be more consistent with youtube i really do like youtube i feel like it's a better way for us to connect and for you to see my life without a filter without being posed all the time it's just more of like a real look into my life and i just i feel like we're all best friends i feel like we're friends on instagram but i feel like we're best friends over here on youtube if that makes any sense but yeah, oh, also, before I forget, I did get the um, the stir fry. I think I mentioned that previously in this video. And you guys, I went and picked up two more bags, and I'm obsessed with it. It is so good. Um, it doesn't smell the best when you're cooking it. Veggies, I've learned, don't smell the best when you're cooking them. So just be mindful of that. But so good. I cooked it up. I added some shredded chicken in there so dang good and as someone that doesn't eat a lot of vegetables this is like life altering for me because i need to get my veggies in and that is one way that i'm able to get my veggies in and it tastes good so i'm all the way here for it chef's kiss also i don't think i got this in my haul earlier i'm not sure but if you haven't tried the trader joe's manor orange chicken with their vegetable fried rice you are seriously missing out go to your local trader joe's I'm obsessed. I have a story highlight saved on my Instagram account with my Trader Joe's finds, what I've tried and what I've loved. I haven't picked up anything from Trader Joe's that I disliked. Trader Joe's is where it's at. So obsessed. Let me know if you like this video. I know it was kind of wonky and all over the place. I am going to be better about vlogging. I just, things are weird. Hang with me while we, we get through the weird time. <laughs> Anyways, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss my future videos. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.